Hello, Year 10. In this short video, I'm going to be having a look at effective mind mapping skills, um, which you'll be using in the early stages, in the explore stages of your NEA. So by this point, you will have been given a number of contexts. I'm going to be using an example from last year. And at this stage here, all I'm going to do is use it to help me out. So what I've done is I've just taken an image of it and I've put it in the corner of my screen and I've highlighted what I deem to be key sections of that context. So firstly, what I'm doing is I'm always keeping this context in mind and I'm keeping it in the top corner of my screen and I've highlighted important parts of it. Now, it's important that we keep it in mind. It doesn't necessarily mean we only have to do things that are immediately obvious to it. We can start to explore other peripheral ideas, but it always helps us to keep that in mind. What I can then start to do is to develop some ideas uh, within these certain areas that I've highlighted. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using Jamboard. Um, so any of my ideas I have will be in yellow. Any questions that I might want to explore uh, will be in blue. And I'm going to be reviewing it with somebody else as well, and their comments will be in pink. So I'm just going to leave that key over there on the right-hand side. So what I'm going to start by doing is now that I've highlighted these areas, I'm actually going to use these as basis to branch off from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those out as some starting points. So the key areas I've identified here are people, travel, delay or disruption, and potentially what might cause it, as well as environments. Uh, and I've roughly broken that down into indoor and outdoor. They were a, a way I could think of organizing that section of my, my brainstorm. What I can do here is I can start to branch off and come up with these different categories. Now, I don't have to stick to these categories. I could change a title of one. I could add more in. I could branch off and start sub areas. But this is a really good starting point. So once I've got these headings, what I can do is add those ideas. So you can see that for travel, I've looked at different methods of travel. For people, I've looked at who are using, who are using these methods of travel, who, who is going about their travel and who is, who is affected by this. I've looked at delay or disruption and what potentially could cause it, as well as different types of environment. And this is just my starting point. These are just a very few basic ideas to start with. Just a minute or two putting down all of the ideas very, very quickly. Now, what's really important that you do at this mind mapping stage is to make sure that you consult with other people um, and try and get some other perspectives. Everything that we look at will be through our own eyes. So if you get somebody else's perspective on that, it might give you questions that you might not consider it might give you ideas that you otherwise wouldn't have thought of, and it questions your ways of thinking. So it might give you another perspective. So it's really helpful to go and review with somebody else. So I've done that, and their comments are here in pink. So these ideas have been added in, and once I have that person's input, I'm able to go and think about those ideas and develop them slightly further. Now, what you'll notice is, I've now added some blue post-it notes. Now, the blue post-it notes are questions that I have thought of, and these are things that I can go and explore further. I don't necessarily have to answer them on this mind map, but these are questions that are ideas that I want to explore. And you can see that there are ideas that are starting to link together. So delay or disruption down here, an idea that came from my review is that it could cause stress, which links to an idea of uh, traveling by foot, and the benefits that that might have, and potentially the, the benefits uh, to both physical and mental health. And that sort of links to an idea. So I've got a little line across here. And you can see that we can start to build our ideas in more detail. And my final step in this, once I've built up all of this detail, is to identify some key areas. Now, these might be ideas that I've identified as opportunities to go and research some more information. These might be questions that I have or areas where I think there are potentially interesting questions to look at further. So when you're mind mapping, it's really important to remember three important things. Firstly, 
is to use your context to help you. So as soon as you get your context, take it, dissect it, highlight some key areas and use it to help you. So the first one is to use your context. The second one is to review with others. So in this case here, that just means I've got these pink post-it notes, but review with others and get the perspective of others. And finally, these blue circles here are the areas that I'm now going to go and explore further. So however detailed your mind map might be, it's important to say what your next steps will be and how you are going to use that mind map to inform your next steps. So your next steps from this will be to go and re research certain areas. And if you don't highlight that, it makes it quite unclear. So always make sure that regardless of the level of detail you come to, to highlight the points that you've identified and look at how you can take it forward. Okay, best of luck. Good luck mind mapping.